Hello, welcome to Liz Rocks and Stuff. I'm Liz. It's time for episode 47 of What's in My Tumblr. We are starting out with the Blood Tree Agate in stage four. So this is done this week and it turned out really, really nicely. Um, so first we're going to do what we always do. We're going to pour that out, get the grit rinsed off, the slurry rinsed off of it, put it in a bath, um, and let that go for a few hours. And um, like I said, these turned out really nicely. I thought there was more blood uh, stone in here than there actually ended up being. I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention to what I was putting in here, but it ended up being only like one or two pieces of bloodstone with the green tree agate and like a bahia agate and some other stuff. So uh, my name on this, this batch wasn't, wasn't too great, but you know, it doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, it's just how I keep my batches separate so I know what's going on with them. All right, so uh, got everything rinsed off, and we are going to put in three tablespoons of borax and then get this on the tumbler for um, a few hours. I did my typical uh, on this one, just a, just a few hours, and I don't do overnight for my burnishing cycle. Some people do. It's kind of your own prerogative what you want to do. So that's what it looked like. Um, I thought I had more water in there than that, but, you know... It's all right. Um, nothing happened. So once we get all of that um, rinsed off, I am just pulling out the rocks and sorting them here because I do have some media in this. I wanted to uh, get a head start on sorting the media out. So I am going to spend a few. This was much longer. This is very, very sped up. But I'm going to spend some time getting all of that mixed up, dry these off, and then I'm going to show what a few of them look like and do some up close uh, shots. So this is a piece of the green tree agate. That's one of the, the more white pieces. That's another piece of the green tree agate. Uh, that has a little pocket in it. And I, I don't think the, I think the gray is some grit that's stuck in there. That was a bahia agate. So then here's the close up of what all of them look like. You can see. I like the green tree agate. I like the way it's kind of marbled, the white with the green. That's the Bahia agate and another piece of agate and then some bloodstone. Um, and then I'm not sure what some of those other pieces are or where they, where they came from, but um, that's that batch. They're all done. So now we're going into Rainbow Tiger 2. This is the second batch of my gold, red, and blue uh, tiger's eye. <clears throat> my barrels this week were very hard to open, some of them. So this is in stage two. It'll be going into stage three. So this is also going to get a bath um, after I get everything all rinsed off. And then um, as per usual, we will be getting them rinsed off and then go into a bath. And again, this batch I'm using resin instead of ceramic media. This is just... I do resin work as well, so these are some failed resin prints that I've just cut up into small pieces and I use them as filler, and they work really well. Um, when I had initially asked if that's something that people do, uh, I got a lot of feedback that, oh yeah, you can do that, but it tends to stink, it doesn't smell very good, and I've noticed that like a teeny tiny little bit. It doesn't, the, st the smell doesn't stick to the rocks at all. Um, it's mostly when I open the barrel after it's been sealed for a week that I can kind of get that little bit of resin smell. But it doesn't stick around at all um, and doesn't bother me. So if you have some resin pieces that you, you can't use for something, cut them up. I just cut mine up on a bandsaw. I just have to be careful uh, about using the bandsaw to do this because I did have pieces flying everywhere. But anyway, so uh, again, I sorted out all of the rocks from the resin and then we are going to get my stage three resin in there because again, it's just like plastic media. You can't move it along with your rocks. It has to um, stick with a stage. So you have a set of stage one, two, three, and four um, and you don't mix them. So this is my stage three resin. And so we'll be going in with my uh, three tablespoons of stage three grit. This is the pre-polish. And then a tablespoon of borax to th thicken up the slurry. And these will be going in for a week now. So these will be done in just a couple of weeks. So next week they'll go into stage four and then they'll be done. Uh, I am trying to rewrite on these because some of my... I need to get a new marker because that one is clearly dying all right, now we have Sardonyx. Sardonyx was started last week. 
This is one of my new barrels from last week, so it is also a very difficult barrel to open for some reason. It did not want to come open. I struggled with this for quite a while, um, and but it looks fine. Slurry looks great, and so we're going to get all that dumped out. And I really am enjoying how the sardonyx looks. It, this is all the same rock, but it's there's such a variation um, between all of the pieces that I just really like how they look uh, and all of the different colors that you get. So I'm going to do an inspection and see what's ready for stage two or what needs to spend more time in stage three. Most of this needed some time in stage one. There's not, I don't think they're going to spend a lot of time in stage one. And most of it was just a little bit of perfectionism on my part where I just wanted it to be smooth instead of bumpy. Um, but there were a few pieces that I felt were ready to move on into stage two. So those went into a storage cup. And then the rest of these, I'm going to top up that barrel with the rest of my sardonics. So I know that, that <laughs> the paper in there says Bahia Agate, but that's not actually what's in there. Um, that was the rest of my sardonics. So then we are going to get that, um, topped up with some water and then the stage two, no stage one, this is stage one grit. So, uh, these are the, the pieces that needed more time. So we'll get, get the stage one in there and then get these going, um, for another week in stage one and they should be moving along soon. And then now we have the Mexican mix. This is a mix of different rocks from Mexico. I got the, this mix came from uh, Kingsley North. They, they sell a batch that's all different rocks from Mexico. Again, I had a hard time opening that barrel. Um, not sure why this week my barrels were all getting sticky, but they were. So this batch uh, is also in stage one this week. And um, there's a lot of... Uh, Dalmatian Jasper and that's not my favorite rock but it is it's it's neat looking uh, but there are also a lot of other kinds of rocks that I haven't worked with before that were really interesting looking so um, all of the Dalmatian Jasper was ready to move on to stage two a few of the other pieces some of the more I think it might be rhyolite or something along those lines I'd have to look up and see what was included in this um, but there were some very pretty and very interesting looking rocks so I'm, I'm being very careful because I know there are some softer, this is a mix of hardnesses. So I'm pulling out the softer rocks a little bit earlier than the harder ones because I don't want them to get worn away into nothing. But all of the Dalmatian Jasper was ready for stage two. All the other rocks or a few of the other rocks were ready. Um, but I don't have a very full barrel here. So uh, that I, that's the rest of the mix um, that I have. And it still was only about a half full barrel and I wasn't happy with that. So these are some rocks that I have tumbled previously. I use them as filler. They came from my rock beds outside. So they're just sort of throwaway rocks. Um, they're easy for me to identify from the other types of rocks in this batch. So I did notice that I didn't put grit in there as I was editing this video. So I did stop and go and put my stage one grit in that barrel. So don't worry. So my last barrel, this is the new one that uh, is just open this week. So I am doing, um, this is the Zebra Jasper. I've had this for a few months. So I'm finally ready to, to tumble this Zebra Jasper. And then I'm also going to add to that uh, Cobra Jasper that I have as well. I bought these with the intention of um, tumbling them together. I also have some picture Jasper. I don't think I'm going to be adding um, into this particular batch. I think I'm going to have enough to just uh, have a, a, enough batches of rocks like this. So this is Zebra Jasper and Cobra Jasper together starting in stage one. And then, so I'm going to put in my three tablespoons of stage one grit. Um, and then I am going to be naming this batch uh, the Jasper Zoo. Uh, so this is Jasper Zoo going into stage one uh, and these should, shouldn't take too long. Jasper generally does pretty well. So these should be going fairly quickly through the grits. All right. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you all next week when, uh, we'll be hopefully moving things along again.